Welcome to another Action Figure Adventures animated review. This time we're taking a look at the Asgardian figure from the Mortal Clash line. I picked this figure up from ZoloWorld.com. I met Mike at a Zolo World event and he was a really cool guy and I stopped by his site once in a while to check it out, see what new stuff they've got going on. They do a lot of special packaging to save and protect mint on card figures. They do occasionally have other lines they import, like these figures. I don't know the backstory to the figures. They seem to be like foot soldiers from a couple different armies. There are some pictures that I found online. That, it seems like there's a god that goes along with each one of the different armies, but I don't know whether you can get those god figures like Athena and or whoever they all are. The figure comes with an instruction book, a backdrop card, an axe, a helmet, a cloth tunic, a shield, he comes with a set of each type of hands, open, closed, and a style that can hold weapons. This is the limited edition version of the guy. There's also another one that has a slightly different colored tunic. His helmet fits on his head. His shield can be clipped on his arm. There's little pegs. It seems like it fits better one way than the other to me. I don't know. I don't know if that's just me or not. He's got great articulation. His head's on a ball joint. His arms have ball joints at the shoulders. His armor pieces can easily move out of the way. He has hinge joints at his elbow. He's got wrist turns. This arm has a cloth band, while this one has the piece that the shield clips to. I do have a slightly floppy elbow here. It locks in some positions, but it, it just sort of flops a little bit. It's not quite tight enough. I don't know if it got weird from when I was switching his hands. He's got ball joints at the hips. He's got double jointed knees, little furry boot covers. And he's got ball joints at his feet. His hands are interchangeable. They're a little tricky. They're very tight. They pop off like that. And then you can just pop the other ones in. Like I said, they're real tight. And that the little wrist pin wants to turn while you do it. So it can be kind of tricky. There we go. Got it on there. And that's why I avoided doing it in the animation, because I knew I was going to have to manhandle them a little too much to get it on there. They have great articulation. I did have a little bit of trouble doing the opening animation, because he didn't want to stay up in that kicking position I had him in. His, his knee kept wanting to, to twist around there a little bit. Great articulation. Like I said, a few of the joints could be a little bit tighter, but... Also, animating, like I do with the figures, puts weird stresses on joints that normally, to display somebody on a shelf, you wouldn't get into. Uh, in the animation, you might have also noticed that I had the axe strapped to his back at the beginning. For that, all I did was I unvelcroed his belt back here. I put it against his back. And velcroed it in place. thought that was kind of cool. I don't know if it's meant to hold it, but it fit. And I always like to have characters that can carry their weapons. This has been an Action Figure Adventures animated review.